Hi Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 1st to the 10th, 2019 reading for you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up, also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out, and you help this small channel grow into something big and into something beautiful. And I want to thank each and every one of you, whether you are new or old to this channel, for your support. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I appreciate you so much. So let's see, oh, and if you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what March 1st to the 10th, 2019 has in store for you. Sagittarius, March 1st to the 10th, 2019. 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 Sagittarius. Show me clearly, show me clearly. March 1st to the 10th, 2019. Sagittarius. March 1st to the 10th, 2019. Sagittarius. Okay, fantastic. Those are the cards that fell out, so that's obviously where Spirit wants me to stop. Oh my gosh, you come through loud and proud, first thing. Sagittarius, you are a fire sign. You're represented by the wands in the minor arcana. You're represented by the temperance card in the major arcana. This is you being a student of what it is that you desire. This is also you getting divine guidance that is going to help you move forward towards where it is that you want to be and towards what it is that you that you want in your life. Because for me, the wands are all about passion. They're all about what it is that you desire creating for yourself and kind of your job, what it is that you want to do, the passions that you have within your soul, within yourself on this earthly realm. So that's the first thing. I love it that you have the wand in your hand here. You have the wand in your hand here with the magician. This is passion being very, very important to you. This is also standing before the altar of your existence. You have your purple robe on, okay? That's a connection with majesty. You have your purple tunic on. I mean, not purple tunic. You have your white tunic on. That's a sense of mourning, of pain that you have been through in order to get to where it is that you are today, but it's also purity of intention. So what you are doing is standing before the altar of your existence, knowing what it is that you desire and doing so with determination and gusto. This is also people seeing you mostly within your job, within what it, whether, okay, so whether your career is at home or whether your career is at an office, whatever it is that you dedicate your life to, people are taking notice. I love it. You have your passion coming forward. This is God's source spirit. However you see the divine, the universe, handing you this gift of passion, handing you this gift of bounty to move you forward towards where it is that you want to be. You're shining through loud and proud throughout this whole entire reading. The temperance card. This is you in the major arcana, finding your balance, finding your understanding, going deeper and deeper into yourself. Because this is happening and because you are being guided so strongly during these 10 days, there's going to be inner conflict. Now this could spill out and this could be an argument that some of you have with other people. It smarts, starts off really small, something that you might think is so silly and looks so foolish when it starts, but brings up really big issues that really need to be addressed. Here, that can be the case with the five of wands, but this is also saying that your inner turmoil is coming up because inner turmoil is coming up because you are embracing what it is that you want because you're following your path because you're seeing your ships come in so know that there are going to be moments within these 10 days that you're going to have to deal with some things within yourself that are going to be a little bit deep and a little bit intense you have such fire energy for this reading it is absolutely amazing you are moving forward in your prosperity. You're looking at your harvest. Don't trust everyone. Keep an eye on your money and keep a 360 eye view, okay? A bird's eye view of the whole situation. You're moving forward, reigning in your emotions, but also with a cancer energy around you that is helping you obtain what it is that you want. Now, this cancer energy could be the person that you kind of have to watch out for here, okay? as you're taking a leap of faith. But this is forward mu movement. This is really going after what it is that you desire and what it is that you want, knowing where it is that you stand within yourself. I would be mindful of this Cancer energy because you are reigning in your emotions and this person can be bringing up emotions within you that are rather negative. So right here, when I say that there could be a fight with somebody, and I say could because this is a general reading, so it's going to be different for each and every one of you. With this Five, with this Five of Wands energy, 
it's coming because emotions are being stirred up. Those emotions are being stirred up because you have the page of pentacles here. The page of pentacles. Because you have the page of wands here. Because you have the ace of wands here. Because you have the temperance card here. Because you're shining through so brightly in your own reading that a lot of your truth is coming to the surface. You're standing before the altar of your existence saying, this is who I am. Somebody here is going to see those emotions. It's going to see you standing before your truth, learning, kind of being a little bit more vulnerable, and they're going to take advantage of your emotions being raw. So watch out for this cancer sign right here, okay? For some of you, for others of you, this cancer sign is going to help you move forward. You're going to know who it is because, and you're going to know how it is because of the feeling you get inside. This is going to be one of chaos. Your body is actually going to kind of like tighten up when you're around this person. It doesn't have to be a cancer. It can be a cancer energy, right? When you're around this person. If this person is good for you, you're going to feel very relaxed. You're going to feel very at peace. That's how you're going to know the difference between somebody who is good for you and somebody who isn't. And of course, you know, many people are cancers. So it can be one cancer who's really good for you and the other one who isn't. It all depends on the individual for this reading, of course. Now, the Page of Wands is what starts you off here. The Page of Wands is you. You are a fire sign. You are embracing your passion. You are embracing your understanding. This is also a student card. This is a messenger card because that's what pages were back in the Middle Ages. They were students. They were learning how to become knights. They were messengers. They usually carried messages between people, okay? And they were usually, and they were children, all right? So this can also represent a very youthful, innocent energy around you at this time, right? This can also represent a Leo or an Aries, but I'm leaning very strongly towards you, Sagittarius, because first of all, this is your reading. Secondly, we have you coming through loud and proud as the temperance card below. So this is definitely you moving forward. This is definitely you embracing your passion. Now I'm going to skip over here just for a moment because we have God's source spirit. However, you see the divine, the universe handing you a gift of new beginnings and passion. You're taking it. Okay, you are taking it. You are being very, very proactive within your life for these 10 days. And you're learning, you're understanding, you're building, you are curious, you are, you are prosperous, all right? So take this new beginning because this is going to be something that opens up opportunities that you hadn't realized. Now, is it going to be within these 10 days that everything changes and everything just kind of, you know, falls into place and everything's wonderful? For some of you, yes. For others of you, no. It's going to be more of, a, of the fact that you are embracing more and more the destiny that you have written for yourself. I believe very much that we have a destiny that we write for ourselves and that we kind of live out the script that was given to us. Okay, that's why we have a sense of deja vu. That's why, that's why some people feel familiar to us and that's also a soul connection, but that's, that could be a whole different video. What I'm seeing here is you embracing what it is that you so, your soul wants. You're getting messages from the divine, okay? Because the divine is handing you this gift. You're getting messages from the divine to embrace your inner power. Because remember, what I always say about the wands is that they help you realize your inner passion, that bit of divinity that lives within you, that bit of uniqueness, and that makes you completely you, Sagittarius. Right? In Hinduism, and I know I've said this a thousand times, and I'll say it probably a thousand more, you, there is... A legend uh, there is a parable that Brahm hid the God's head within man because that was the only place that human beings would not look for it right because they were said Brahm said if you hid it if you hid the God's head on the highest mountain man would go there if you hid the God's head in the deepest part of the ocean man would go there and if you hid the God's head out in outer, outer space man would go there but man will not turn inward he will not look within himself for that bit of divinity you are looking within yourself for that bit of divinity because you are hearing the divine's call, okay? You are hearing the divine's gifts that are being given to you and you are moving forward in that prosperity. You are moving forward in that truth and you are embracing your soul and yourself as you do so. Coming through with the innocent, youthful energy of a page, that's brilliant. This is not losing your childlike wonder at the world. This is having your mind open to flexibility and new ideas. You are embracing who it is that you are because you have the temperance card right here. You're finding your balance. Balance for you is very, very important for these 10 days. Your inner balance, your inner understanding, embracing what it is that you want, where it is that you're going, knowing that nothing is going to hold you back. You are moving forward in your truth. And as you do so, 
you are seeing where you stand. Knowing that the angels are right there with you as you go deeper and deeper into where it is that you want to be, to what it is that you want to succeed at, to that balance within yourself and within your soul. Now this balance is needed because you are standing before the altar of your existence. You are standing before yourself and you're saying, this is my passion, this is my desire, this is who I am. This is how I define myself because you are shining through so loudly in this reading. This is about you. And so people are starting to see you more. They're starting to notice your flexibility of mind and spirit. They're starting to see your balance of self and they're taking notice of it. This is you embracing your passion, okay? Your majesty of self because you hold the wand up in your hand, creating and having people see you create the life that you want. Is this all going to happen at once? No, because you were here as a student and then you're here and here, okay? As a master of yourself. So there are still things that you are learning. There are still things that you are understanding that are bringing you closer to what it is that you desire, closer to where it is that you want to be. Find this balance within yourself because you need this balance to stand before the altar of your existence, before yourself, embracing your peace, embracing your harmony, but also embracing your gifts. You have majesty to you with the purple cloak. You have the white robe on, well, the right white tunic on. That's for mourning. That's for realizing sorrows and letting go of pains. It is also purity of intention. You have here the wand in your hand. You have the sword on the table. You have the pentacle and the cup. You have all the gifts of the minor arcana before you. The wand means you know your passion. The sword, your mind. The pentacles, your prosperity. The cups, your love. Your spirit, your understanding. That's what you are moving forward in. People are going to start taking notice of you. All right? And when people start taking notice of you, now it doesn't have to be that they tell you, okay? This isn't going to be a time where you get really celebrated, Sagittarius. Though for some of you, you might feel as if, wow, people are really paying attention to what I say. People are really paying attention as to how I'm conducting myself. And you might feel as if people are celebrating you. But there's also a sense here of people taking notice of you, but quietly. As you move forward to where it is that you want to be and what it is that you want to achieve. You have the five of wands energy. This is discord, this is disharmony, and this is arguments. So as you are embracing where it is that you stand within yourself and your soul, there are going to be people who oppose you. Be prepared for that, okay? Because people are taking more notice of you and people are seeing you more, there are going to be more people who just don't like you. Why? Because that's how people are. And they want to pick fights. Why? Because that's how people are. Some people, I mean, let's quote Frank Sinatra here. Some people get their kicks stomping on a dream. That's what we have here. This can also be inner doubt and turmoil because you are so much in your element right now, quite literally, with these three cards right here, with you shutting through, with you gaining your understanding, gaining divine messages, with you gaining divine gifts, all right? You're in your element. And so a lot of what's within your soul and self that isn't elevating you to your highest good is going to come out. And you're going to feel as if, you know, at times there's a sense of discord within yourself. Within times, you don't understand how it is you're supposed to move forward. You have so many questions. You feel as if you're only ever going to have questions and you're never going to have answers. So for some of you, this is the way that the five of wands is going to manifest. For others of you, it is going to manifest in the arguments of others. And for even more, even more, it's going to be both. You're going to find that people are a little bit combative during these 10 days. And you're going to find that that combativeness is playing off of your own insecurities, off of your own sense of, you know, am I on the right path? I want you to know without a shadow of a doubt that you are on the right path. You are moving forward. You can't control other people. And you can't even control the doubts and fears that you have. You can control how you react to them. This is saying here, do not fight. All right? Sometimes you have to, and that's okay. 
clear the air, let it be done, but don't go after it. You know, don't keep beating a dead horse. Now you are moving forward in your truth. Clear the air, clear the air within your soul, within yourself. Okay, find that balance. Embracing your balance is also going to help alleviate this five of wands mentality, this five of wands energy here, as you move forward, as you go after what it is that you desire. The ace of wands, this is God's source spirit. However you see the divine, the universe, handy you a gift of prosperity, handy you a gift of new beginnings. I say prosperity, even though it's not pentacles, because with this passion, with this sense of purpose, comes a newfound vigor within yourself. That's why you're coming up as a student within the minor arcana. And that's why you're coming up as yourself, as the victor in the major arcana. Okay? It's knowing what it is that you want, of finding your val balance, embracing your success. Here, you are taking your gift. You are learning and you are understanding with it. You are also taking the gift of divine messages that is coming with it. So as these gifts come your way, you're going to want things to move quickly. And when things don't move, oh, excuse me, I'm trying not to sneeze. As things don't move as quickly as you would like them to, you're going to get frustrated within yourself. That can also be how this five of wands energy comes up. You want things to move forward and you want to be that king instead of the page. Personally, and quite honestly with you, that flexibility of mind and spirit of the page, that ability to look at things, the elasticity of self, is beautiful and something that you should cherish because it is helping you embrace who it is that you truly are. And it's helping you take these gifts and move forward in the direction that you want. It's also letting you stand before, again, the altar of your existence. It's letting you stand before the truth of yourself and saying, this is who I am. I can ask questions. I can, you know, find guidance. I can, you know, seek and I will find. And because you are seeking, because people are seeing you, you know, embracing different ideas within work, it's kind of embracing different modalities. It's, break, it's, it's embracing, you know, different ways of looking at a problem. And they're seeing that and they're being impressed. Within your home life, it's the same thing. It's looking at things and saying, okay, this is where I want to be. This is what I've desired creating within my life. And you're looking at different ways to bring about the prosperity, the balance that you want. And people are being impressed. You're listening better. You're understanding things better. You're listening to yourself better, which is huge. And now you're getting these gifts that are moving you forward. This gift of passion, this gift of creativity, this gift of beauty. And yes, there's a fly in the ointment with the five of wands, but that's nothing that you can't overcome. And this is also saying because so much of your truth is coming to the surface, so much of your authenticity is being brought up that everything that doesn't align with that is kind of being faded out. Not all of a sudden, not all right away, okay? It's not like going cold turkey, but you are having the negativity, the arguments, the things that aren't aligning with your soul fading away. The three of wands is your ships coming in. It's your passion, it's your creativity. Right? It's having it's having the gusto within yourself, okay, and having the faith within yourself to not only know that you're going to get a return on your investment, but also to take a gamble. Now I am not telling you at all to take risks, to take unauthorized gambles, to you know, bet your money on something that you're you're iffy about or anything like that. Or to bet your money at all. This is taking a gamble on your passion. This is sending your ships out there. I always think of it as when, you know, back in the Middle Ages where they sent their ships out and they discovered different places and everything like that or trades and they never knew if those ships were going to fall apart. They never knew if those ships were going to crash from storms. They never knew if disease was going to take the ships. It was a gamble. So that's what you're doing here. You're sending out your attentions into the universe. But you're also getting a return on your investment. You're going to see things starting to come your way. There's one that's a bit of a surprise. You see how that ship is just in the corner right there? There's one that's a surprise. As it starts to come your way, as you start to embrace what it is that you want, you see even how that wand is in the corner. Okay, these two you can hold. This one is going to be a surprise. So this could be a person and this could be that cancer energy and that argument 
that we're seeing here that comes up as a surprise to you. This could even be another Sagittarius, all right? But something is coming in as a surprise that is leading you forward, that is helping you see what it is that you want, that is helping you embrace your truth and where it is that you're going. Your subconscious, not your subconscious, your clarifying cards are the Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot card, and the Fool card. The Nine of Pentacles is your prosperity, all right? This is your harvest coming in. This is you obtaining what it is that you love, and this is also love because swans mate for life, okay? Watch your purse. I'm going to be really honest with you. Right now, once you have everything coming in and you're going to be so focused on kind of the creative aspects of things that you're not going to mind your purse as well as you should, make sure that you do. Make sure that you mind your purse as you're taking in that 360-eye view of the situation. Don't get kind of tunnel vision and don't trust people blindly because that can also lead to an argument here. Make sure you go over everything. Make sure you embrace what it is that you want as you move forward. The chariot right here, you're moving forward. Now, this is also warning against, yeah, warning against a cancer coming in who's going to use tumultuous emotions, your emotions being all wild up because you are embracing so much of what it is that you want and you're kind of having a cleanse of soul and self happen here. Or, you know, you're getting rid of people who are negative, who aren't embracing the way that you are moving forward. They could be using that against you. Now, for some of you, that's going to be the case. For others of you, this person is going to help you rein in the emotions and go after what it is that you desire. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. Trust your gut. You're going to know. You really are. You're taking a leap of faith. You're taking a leap of faith on where it is that you want to be. You're taking a leap of faith on how it is that you define yourself. You're taking a leap of faith on your passion, on your creativity, and on the fact that the angels are right there with you. Again, you have the wands right here. You have the wands right here. This is using your passion, your creativity, the gifts that the divine and the universe are giving you as part of your everyday self. Embrace it. Embrace it completely as you move forward. You're also moving towards your goals here. Your clarifying cards are all about movement and all about your harvest coming in. Now, is this going to be in a big way for each and every one of you? No, it's not. I always say everybody wants firework life. A firework life where your neighbors turn around and see things and go, oh my gosh, that's so amazing, that's so amazing. Life doesn't work that way. There's steadiness, which is really nice when things are nice and steady, and then things dip down, and that's terrible, and then things rise up. But when you get really high, the only place to go is down. So this is embracing the steadiness, all right, and moving forward in your prosperity, moving forward, being true to your emotions, being true to yourself, okay? Be aware of a cancer sign around you, all right, who you might very well be getting into an argument with or who might be using the fact that within yourself you're feeling a bit of tumult, okay, around you, using your emotions kind of against you, playing them against you. Embrace your balance. Embrace your balance. Because here's what's happening. You're standing before the altar of your existence. And it's clearing away negativity, but it's also bringing up issues that you have had in the past about, you know, where you're heading, what you're doing, are you on the right path, are you not? It's time to embrace your balance. It's time to stay truly, fully, and absolutely to yourself. This brings your ships in. You're getting a gift from the divine, the universe, and you're taking it as you move forward towards where it is that you want to be, as you keep on learning, as you keep on discovering. Because by starting off here with the power of your conviction, you change everything. And you stand so firmly within yourself that people take notice. And when people take notice, right, some of them are going to want to knock you down, quite literally you know, fight with you, argue with you, tell you that you're on the wrong path, tell you that you are a fool and I can't believe that you're doing this. Still, embrace that fool card. Take that leap of faith on you. Take that leap of faith on where you're going. Your ships are coming in. There's going to be something that happens, okay? A third one, a third ship, a third, you know, kind of venture that you take or a third idea that you have, a third person that you meet that is going to really change things. Just somebody's coming out of the blue that's helping you embrace your prosperity. Now, this could be in a negative way. It doesn't always have to be in a positive way that something comes in and it's just wonderful. It could be that this brings up an argument for some of you, this third thing, it's just one too many or the person has a different idea, but because of that kind of 
cleanse of energy that's going on here and because of your determination, all right, that sparks an idea with you that brings forth the prosperity that you want. Your subconscious message is the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is moving forward in your prosperity. The Five of Pentacles is knowing that divinity has your back, is knowing that you're heading in the direction that you want. Also, the number five here is very important for you. This can be the fifth day. This could be things happening five times and you've just had enough of it. All right? But know that the number five is important as you move forward. This is also freedom of self and expression. This is knowing that you are embracing what it is that you desire and that you are moving forward in your beauty and in your blessings. You don't stay down for long, okay, in this negativity. You don't stay down almost at all within these 10 days. You move forward in your conviction and you stand before the altar of your existence, knowing that you are taking these gifts and that through balance and through determination, you rein in your emotions, you take that leap of faith in what it is that you want and your harvest comes in. All right, Sagittarius, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I wish you, again, nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness, and may harmony always be with you. Bye.